Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how I power the accessories on my Old Town Predator uh, 13 kayak here. So why don't you follow along? If you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that and click on the bell, get the notifications for new videos. We'll get right into it. look inside the front hatch here of uh, the old town predator you'll see this is the box here that can contains my two batteries and i did a build on this not really a build but i talked about it and what i did and i'll link to that video down below so there's a five-way splitter that runs off of that got a wire coming out through the hatch here just because uh, i haven't decided for sure if i want to mount that permanent or not but i'll show you what we're going to do so All right, so the depth finder I run is a Hummingbird Helix 7, Generation 2. And what we've done is I've mounted my transducer here through the scupper hole. I have the cable comes from the transducer, comes out of here, in through this watertight seal here. All the extra cable is stored down below. Then it runs back up here and plugs into the back of the depth finder. Power comes out of there, which is hooked to that battery up front off of that five-way splitter. So that powers the depth finder. Now the GoPro that I run on the front here, um, it's a GoPro session. And the way I run it is so I can record all day. But with recording all day to be able to do that, I open up the side door and plug a USB cable into that. And I run that off of those batteries in the front also. So I'll show you how that's hooked All right, up. So in this box here we have is we have an on off switch. We have a 12 volt receptacle. And then we have two spots for USB cables and a voltmeter in there. So if we turn the power on, the voltmeter lights up. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says 12.6 right now. So this cable's coming out of this USB port. I run it back, wrap it around here a few times, take it through just this PVC fitting. Uh, that I use for my transducer mount, wrap it around the GoPro mount, up into that side door, and that gives me power to record. I can record all day, no problem with that. Uh, 64 gigabyte card, and I switch it out twice during the day. It gives me about six hours of record time at 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second. So these three, the power switch, and the 12 volt receptacle and the USB, I ordered them off Amazon and they actually came here. Um, so the three of them could be mounted like uh, in dash, but on the Predator 13, I couldn't really find anywhere that I wanted to mount them. Uh, the flat surfaces, uh, just I just wasn't comfortable mounting them anywhere. So instead I got the box. Uh, it's just a watertight box that I picked up at Fleet Farm and that's what I mounted them in. And I ran a Scotty mount off of the back there. So the Scotty mount to the mounting plate here on the kayak. So I can take that off, leave it on, whatever I need to do. So up front, that's what we got wired for power. We got the, the box there with the USB ports and receptacle on off switch. That powers my depth finder and powers my GoPro on the front, which is actually facing back towards my kayak seat. All right, so on the back of the kayak, I have a, an Akeso EK7000 camera mounted uh, on the top of this pole here. And to make this run all day, um, I plug it in USB also. So in the case of that camera, I've drilled a hole to be able to plug the USB cord into. So it's no longer watertight. Uh, but again, I can record off that all day, 64 card, 64 gigabyte cards that I switch out twice. And what I've done is I wrap the USB cord around the post that I have it mounted on. And I, I can link to uh, the video where I kind of explain that post in my camera gear. But that runs down and into here I've mounted two, well, I've mounted one plug with two USB ports on it. Those are wired here, come out through this watertight fitting here. Wires go down into my kayak, run back up to that battery box up in the front. All right, so that's the accessories that I power off that battery. I should also said that 
I do keep a spare iPhone charger in my kayak uh, for that other USB port uh, up front. If my phone needs charging, then I just plug it in and charge it. It gives me plenty of juice for the day uh, to run all those accessories. And like I said, I'll link to the battery box in the description down below. And I'll also link to a video explaining the camera equipment that I use and the mounts that I use. I'll link that down below also. Um, so that's about it. That wraps it up for that. Uh, remember to subscribe. Check out One Cast Fishing uh, for jigs, bladed jigs, and swim jigs, and line cutters. Thanks.